What is going on, guys? MMA on the team. We got the fight picks, and we are back with UFC 256. Mackenzie Dern, Verna Jandarobo. What a great fight this is. Uh, man, I'm a ground game lover. You guys know that. Uh, and these two girls are very, very good on the ground. And uh, hopefully we get to see it go there. But uh, I will pass it on to Zach to start us off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the UFC presented by ADCC. This is the ADCC's at the UFC. If you don't know what ADCC is, Abu Dhabi Combat Club, the world's most prestigious Brazilian jiu-jitsu competition. And Lord, is that what this is right now? We have the two best Brazilian jiu-jitsu artists in women's MMA face up against each other right now in Mackenzie Dern and Verna Jandarova. And if you're a hardcore fan like us and you like grappling, and Brazilian jiu-jitsu, and I'm, I'm a big fan of competitive jiu-jitsu, so this is something you would see at, like, a jiu-jitsu competition. That is just, that's how excited I am for this fight. This fight is going to be awesome when it hits the ground. But on the feet, it's going to be a little, uh, it's, it's not going to be so great, because as we know, these two aren't the best strikers. We know Dern is a kind of power or bust type of fighter. She doesn't have much technique, but she does have a little bit of pop in her hands, and Jandaroba does not even try, really. She goes for the takedown right away, does not really ever try on the feet. In her uh, three fights in the UFC, 17, 7, and 4. Those are her strike totals. <laughs> so Duran usually lands more punches. So I think on the feet, Jandaroba doesn't really try. So I think on the on the feet, it's kind of fair to say that Duran will have the advantage because she does have to strike more often in her fights. And from what we've seen, her striking is a bit better. And to think that Mackenzie Dern has a striking advantage over someone is kind of ridiculous. And that is the way to really beat Mackenzie Dern is if you're that much of a better striker than she is because no one's going to be a better grappler. Amanda Hebos kind of laid out the blueprint. If you can defend the takedowns because Mackenzie Dern is not a good wrestler in the slightest. She, is, she has a lot of trouble bringing fights to the ground, as you can see by her 7% takedown accuracy, which is uh, not great, as you know. But... Uh, Jandaroba will be the one to initiate this fight to the ground. I think she has so many more takedowns and she is the better wrestler. But when it hits the ground, the question that everyone's been waiting for, who's better on the mat? And that's going to be Mackenzie Dern. Mackenzie Dern is the better grappler. She is much more accomplished in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. She's one of the greatest uh, women's BJJ protectioners of all time. She might even be number one if it wasn't for Gabby Garcia and... You guys might flame me in the comments. I don't know too much about the women's scene, but I know Gabby Garcia kind of is insanely dominant. But anyways, I think that Mackenzie Dern, you know, she's an IBJJF world champion and uh, she's a little bit more credentialed on the ground because that's what she did for a lot longer before she made the jump to MMA. She was a pure competitive grappler. I think it's close. I, I know we know Jenna Rub is incredible on the ground as well. We know that. But I think Dern is just the edge of a bit better. I think off of her back, too, Dern is especially dangerous off of her back, a little bit more dangerous than she is from top position. That's why she never really goes for takedowns is because Dern off of her back is a lot more dangerous of Dern on top pressure. I mean, I th that's, that's what we've seen so far in her UFC career, and we saw that amazing heel hook. Of course, I mean, she won't get that on Janaroba because, you know, Janaroba is a million times better on the ground than Hannah Cyphers is. But, yeah, Nibar. you have to was there a knee bar? I thought yep. it was a heel hook. Pretty sure it was a knee bar. Really? Uh, hold on. Let me check UFC stats, what they what they say it is. Oh, yeah, it's a knee bar. Huh. Oh, well, I guess it was a knee bar. It looked like a heel hook to me in the moment. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it looked low. It was a weird type of a knee bar for the most part. I'd have to relook at it, but, uh, but yeah, from when I remember it live. Uh, yeah, I remember them saying knee bar as well. So, yeah, I'm picking Mackenzie Dern. I think this is going to be an incredible fight. I think that Dern is going to – I don't think she's going to snatch a submission. If she does, it's going to be late because she's going to have to figure out the scramble patterns and what Jander Robo wants to do on top position. I think that her sub defense is a little bit too good to be submitted. So, I'm going I'm going Mackenzie Dern. I'm going by third-round sub or decision. Wow, you think she's going to sub her? Jeez. Uh, so hey, professional BJJ people sub each other all the time, man. Yeah, I know, but it's just oh, this fight is so interesting, man. Uh, and this is this is I think this is what you this is how you find out who is better. This is my these are my favorite type of fights. This is probably my favorite fight on the card. Uh, and it's weird to say that because I, I obviously 
there's nothing wrong with female fights, but I typically lean toward the men's fights because there's a wider divisions, typically more talent. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for this fight, man. Uh, just because what I think makes good fights is when you get two people who are dominant in one area of a fight and have not shown any weakness and you put them against each other. Uh, and and I, just to mention a couple, is like the, the main one that I talk about, the main one that I talk about is um, uh, Colby Covington, Kamaru Usman. And I even mentioned this last fight picks just because it was such a good fight, man. And they're both so good standing and they're both so good on the ground. And when you put two people who are very good in two different departments, and you put them against each other, you get a banger. Uh, and you get two girls in this one who love to submit. And I think that that, this is why it makes it so awesome is because what people don't realize is when you're going for submissions, if you don't get it, you put yourself in a kind of a bad position on the ground. You put yourself open for transitions, reversals, uh, and sub attempts from the other fighter. And I think that Dur during Jandaroba, we're going to find out who's better at submitting people because the first person to go for a submission, if they don't get it, I expect that that person who, 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 fights off the submission to win the fight uh, because I think that these girls have such high, high IQ on the ground. And as you mentioned, uh, Jan Robot likes to go for the takedown early and Dern doesn't. Dern likes to wait for the person to, to try to take them down or try to end up, find a, find a way to get them to the ground uh, where we saw with Randa Marcos and, uh, and uh, Mackenzie Dern when uh, Mackenzie Dern tr uh, went for a kick, I think, and then felt her butt. Uh, what was it? Uh, dirt, uh, Random Marcos just jumped into her guard, and then what do you know? Submission via armbar. So I don't know, man. I, I it sucks. I don't know who to go with here because, like I like I mentioned, we haven't seen these girls fight people on the ground that are as good uh, as as the other. I think really the only fight we can look at is like they have in jujitsu though. They have in jujitsu though, not in MMA, but in jujitsu they have it's like maybe Ashley Yoder is maybe the best on the ground that, that uh, Mackenzie Dern has fought. Who can you say? He Probably. boss, dude. Easily he boss. Yeah, yeah, but did that fight, how long did that fight even go to the ground? Uh, not long, but if we're talking about best ground fighter, they fought he boss. Yeah, but this fight, of them this fight 100% going to go to the oh, ground. Oh, yeah, there's, of course. No chance. Like, he, boss, he boss took down Mackenzie Dern. Yeah, twice. so yeah, so that fight was on the ground for a minute, minute 48. Uh, I knew it didn't go to the ground for too off uh, for for too long, but uh, I don't know, man. I think I think Jana Roba is going to take her down, and I think I see Jana Roba uh, having a quick submission or something like that, man. I don't know. I just quick sub I, over Mackenzie Dern. What? I think no. I think so. I, I think okay, Jana Roba, we'll Jana Roba is very very good, uh, and she's got some sort of. It's weird because I, I don't really like to hold variety in too, high of a, in too high of a regard when it comes to submissions, just because what's that famous line? I can't even remember who says it. Fear the man who's who's uh, practiced one kick a thousand times rather than the man who's practiced a thousand kicks, something like that. Uh, that's a great that's a great line to, to think about when you talk about submissions, just because when you get a person who has 30 guillotine chokes against someone who's got one arm triangle and Ezekiel choke, a heel hook, uh, even the pace, like just like a bunch of variety of like really crazy submissions compared to uh, a guy who has like one of the same ones. I think you value those uh, a little bit more. And I think you've got to lean a little bit towards Mackenzie Dern in that one, uh, just because Mackenzie Dern has a few more arm bars and rear naked chokes is from what I, what I, what I look at for the most part, but I don't know, man, I, I gotta go. I gotta go with Jen Robo on this one. I just think that we've seen a little bit more of her taking the fight to the ground faster and then getting a submission. Uh, I don't know. I got to go with Jan Roba. I think, I think that that's, that's a likely scenario for me. Uh, and I, either way, even if Dern wins, I'm not going to be too mad just because uh, this is, this is a ground game fight, man. And I love my ground game. So I'm excited to see who can get the first submission. I'm going to go with Jan Roba on this one. I love my underdogs for this card, uh, but make sure you guys, who you, let us know who you guys got in this one. going to be really interesting to see who you guys got. I, I assume most of you have Dern as well. She's probably a, a pretty heavy favorite. Probably not. Let me check. Let me check right now. I probably, should, probably should pull that up. But uh, yeah, I would assume Dern is a huge favorite just because uh, of the of the talent she's fought compared to minus one ninety. That's it. Uh, I have to calculate that because that doesn't tell me anything. <laughs> uh, yeah, point to point one or one point five compared to a two point five on Verna Janaroba. So uh, decent size underdog. 
uh, for for Nijandaroba, but I'm going to go with her. So it'll be interesting to see, man. Make sure you guys let us know who you guys got. Like I said, like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you guys check out the other fight pick videos.